KC24 is your local election headquarters and in the days following Super Tuesday, many school districts still uncertain whether or not their school bonds have passed. In many cases, it doesn't look good. Kaylee Hunt joining us in the studio and Kaylee, how are the school districts feeling as they wait for that final vote count to come in? Despite numerous school districts not getting the 55% needed, many are feeling optimistic that once more votes get counted, they will reach the 55% needed for approval. It's still not clear if Fresno County school bonds have passed. Some believe with statewide school bond proposition 13 not passing, voters this year didn't want to increase their property tax to fund school bonds, but Clovis Unified is not giving up hope. We're still cautiously optimistic. We know there's you know tens of thousands of votes that are still left to be counted. Currently, Clovis Unified has 48% of voters voting yes and 52% voting no. In the past, uh, when the district was in a situation where a bond measure didn't pass, we, we had to go to year-round schools. Uh, that looks like boundary changes. And Fresno Unified held a press conference on Wednesday saying they won't claim victory just yet, but believe they will keep their current lead with 58% voting yes and 42% voting no. We recognize it's too early to declare unequivocally that this is in the books. So we're waiting for the uh, eagerly anticipating the election results. However, other Fresno County school districts currently do not have the 55% they need to pass their school bond. Washington Unified School District releasing a statement saying, with several thousand votes remaining to be counted, the district remains optimistic regarding the results of Measure H. Should Measure H fall short of the required 55% voter approval, the Board of Trustees will evaluate its options regarding next steps. Central Unified Measure C also falling short, 53% voting yes, 47% voting no. The district saying in part, we believe the margin in the number of votes needed to pass Measure C is too close to call. Although the final results may not be available for a few days, based on yesterday's upward trend in favor of the bond, we remain hopeful about the outcome after the remaining ballots are counted. Fresno County Clerk Brandy Orth says there will be a definite answer soon as thousands of votes are being counted every day. We received over 80,000 uh, vote by mails and a few conditional voter registrations that have yet to be processed. All bonds mentioned need 55% to pass and ballot updates are expected to be released tomorrow at 3 p.m. Reporting in studio, I'm Kaylee Hunt, KC24, Local News That Matters.